about what was going to happen and how we were going to have to deal with it. But I do appreciate what you're doing. And if, if the roundtable does meet again, and y'all do change the list in the, um, my district would really like some of the sidewalks that are on that list. So, <laughs> That's the annual, yes. What was your name, sir? Quentin Beaver. Pardon? Quentin Beaver. Mr. Scott? Yeah, I, I don't have any ire towards what y'all are doing. You got elected to a job and appointed to a job, but I've got a lot of confidence in the American voters and the Lowndes County voters and all the other voters. And I'll tell you what, payback in politics is hell. Uh, we saw it here locally uh, when they voted in Sterling. We saw it when they annexed a bunch of us into the city that didn't want to be in there. Those people lost their jobs. These representatives, a lot of them are going to lose their jobs. But in the meantime, they've got you spending a lot of your time, effort, and energy doing a cockamamie story that they cooked up to transfer the problem to somebody else. They don't want it. I had one leg state legislator tell me, he said, look, we've been dipping into transportation funds in Georgia for 20 years and spending them on other issues. Now, this is an honest representative. He said, "This, if it money was spent properly, we've got enough money. So that's where I got my first clue from is when a legislator tells you that and I believe that uh, we're taxed enough. Uh, we got two local option plots that will build anything we need to build in this town. We don't need another tax. We don't want another tax. If you want one, just <coughs> write them a check, send them money. But personally, I think it's out of line. I think the whole transfer of responsibility is out of line. I think the tax is mislabeled because it's not a local option sales tax. It's a regional tax. The administration is unknown. That's something you haven't talked about. What's it going to cost to administer all these? To answer that question, in our region, it's $7.5 million over the 10-year period to administer these projects. That is built into the cost of the project list. You'll notice on the project list at the very bottom, there's a seven and a half million dollar administration fee that is included in that. The current two local taxes that you mentioned be used for transportation projects. The local spots, yeah. if if those projects are on the list, yes. It depends on how the uh, when they when they create those. It depends on how they can be used for transportation. Yes. If they choose. To. If they choose to, yes. Typically. I'd also like to say, it's kind of important again, but I, I always try to remind people, this is not Corey Hall's fault, it's not the SDRC's fault, they're just doing their job of administering what was handed to them. And I understand the comments from the chair there, it's unfortunate that you've all been put in this position. And I will not make any actual political comment, but I will say it is exactly the taxed enough philosophy that has got us in this position, because that's what they're trying to do, is they're trying to get us to have to be stuck with this thing and then be in a position where it's voted down and a number of things will not be funded. Now, I agree with almost everything. You won't hear me say this often. I agree with almost everything else that was about said. <laughs> it is an additional bureaucracy. In addition to that, it is the state taking more direct control over local government under the guise of regional, regional what? I mean, this is not an elected uh, legislature for the region, making pieces like the mayor. I mean, the whole thing is a bad idea. It needs to be voted down. And if somebody wants to spend money, maybe they should send money suing the state to find out if it's even legal. That's my comment. 